That is a good point. If you look at my sub count, though, it's basically a dead stream. Yeah. Especially considering, like, how many subathons I do and how much I ask you guys to sub and... I mean, it's it's pretty terrible. I'm, I'm, I don't even know why I turn my stream on anymore. It's, it's... 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 It's really bad. There's not even any subs in the channel right now. I don't... Nobody subs to me. It's just... It's just me now. It's just me talking into the void. Yep. But hey, that's life. That's okay. What's up, dude? Killing son. For the record, I'm totally kidding. My subs are exceptionally good to me. So please don't take that as, as anything, because that is 100% kidding. <laughs> are you here to supervise again? That's right. After all, my management philosophy has always been, let customers be the judge, wasn't it? <laughs> Bingo. You got it word for word. OC Jenko and Barry Carlion with the five gift bombs. You bros. Thank you so much. In fact, what's really funny is I actually don't have any subscribers. What I do, though, is to make myself feel better about my sub numbers is I just give everyone subs. Um, like, I just, I'm just like, you get a sub and you get a sub. And that way my sub count's higher. And when I look at it, I'm like, oh, I am successful. See, that's how that works. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically how I do it. I don't, I don't do gift bombs because I like you guys. I don't do it because I want to increase the community cohesiveness or get long time non sub subs. I don't do it because of that. I do it because my sub count is everything. It defines me as a person, it defines me if I'm, if I'm good at what I do. And if my sub count dips, then my entire world breaks down and everything I do becomes a dark cloud. And uh, it's just, it's terrible. So again, I, don't, I, I have about, I think I have about 75 subscribers and then 17,925 gifted subs. I'm pretty sure that's about how that works. Um, dark, dark days, guys. Dark days. Dark days. Um. <laughs> dark days, chat. Dark days. When you think of a successful manager, what qualities come to mind, chat? Hmm. A successful manager, huh? Hmm. Let me think here. I'd have to say a manager who can create something both innovative and useful. A manager that sub-bombs himself constantly to raise his own sum numbers. I see. Was I wrong? Well, when I think of what a successful manager should be, it basically resolves around, revolves completely around their sub numbers. Huh? What do you mean? For example, if a Twitch streamer has a low amount of subs, then nobody actually loves him. And he is devoid of any type of happiness. Instead, we give the streamer subs, and that way, he not only gets an ego boost, but he gets money as well. You're right, that is a good deal. And if our streamers, viewers feel like they're being put first, then they'll keep subbing back. Well, that means if the viewers win, then as far as I'm concerned, so do we. That's been my philosophy since I started streaming. And that's a great philosophy to have. Now here's the, I was just subbing streamer and everything, but actually this, this is actually kind of cool. Um, <laughs> like I was just like flipping in keywords, but that actually works pretty well. So yeah, we create our own happiness. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. President Ichinose, you're here again at that place that you own? How dare you? <laughs> and this is why we use Julia for all of our emotes. I love you so much, Julia. Thank you. Uh, it's almost time for your meeting. Remember, we get to get back. We we have to get back to the office right away. Oh man. Oh, Motomura Kun. Is that is it that time already? I'll be leaving now. You got me, son. So I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, same here. Yeah. A successful manager is one who puts his viewers first. That way, both parties win. Sounds like a great streamer. Okay. <laughs> Mott Ur says, I was only listening to the stream and now I'm confused on the story. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, Goobzer, thank you. Thank you. That's good to know. I was actually wondering if we had met any yet. Strope Man, love your stream code. Thanks for streaming great games and making it enjoyable to watch. Well, thank you for making it happen. 
I appreciate it. Thank you. If real talk now, enough joking around. If you are a sub, then you're one of the reasons that I get to do this every day, and I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I like to have fun with all this, and I like to have a good time, but I do fundamentally appreciate those that can go that extra mile. Thank you for it. Not that you need to, but thank you for those that do. Mm -hmm. Is that the tiger drop? No, the tiger drop is when you uh, are being attacked, then you have a prompt to counter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do the closest side story, which is in here. I think. What's in here? Thank you to Zeal with the one gift bomb, Barry and OC Jericho with the fives, Traxy36 with the five, Luxy Pucks with the five, Myrmidoc with the five. Thank you all for your support today. Ooh, I'm claiming that word, support. It's like supporting with subs. You're supporting the stream. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, right now? No, it's not a problem at all. Honey, who are you? Oh, wait. How? Who are you talking to? How long are you going to be on the phone? Don't worry, sweetie. I'll just be a second. Er, n no, Captain. I wasn't calling you sweetie. I mean, yes, of, of course I'm at home. I, I was talking to my cat. I'll head over right away. How dare you spend your wife's birthday on the phone? <laughs> Oh, waiter! I have a glass of good stuff! I make it snappy! Oh my. She is really drunk. That's not the voice of a drunk woman. The TV is on, and it's loud. I'm totally at home right now. <laughs> I make it a point not to get too close to drunks, and that lady is plastered. Sergeant Kills, dude, they're doing great. Thank you, buddy. Wait, do I have to go talk to her now? Oh god, I have to go talk to Oh god. Oh god. The the side quest is to stay away from the drunk. But I must. Hey! Hey you! Hmm? Nani. Yeah, you with 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 dumb face. Come here and take a load off! Nani? What why would I No I I, I said, have a seat. How long are you going to make me drink alone? But I'm... Don't you keep my wife waiting on her <coughs> birthday. Ugh. Shit, this is what I get for thinking about keeping my distance. How many has she had anyway? Excuse me. Okay. Did you need anything? Do I know you? Stop with the nonsense! I'm your wife! And you don't keep your wife waiting on her birthday! My wife? That's me! I'm sweet! I'm petite! And I'm... No go! Huh? But we're not married. How does she jump to the conclusion that I'm her husband? Hey! Uh, sorry, I have to use the restroom real quick. Hold your horses, Tatsuro! Hey man, aren't you that drunk lady's husband? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I had to hide for a second. Hey. What the hell is going on? I'm just as shocked as you are, buddy. Looks like she thinks you're me. <sighs> If she's so drunk she could mistake me for her husband, that's a problem. Oh, oh, I agree. She's both wasted and nearsighted, and that is a dangerous combination. <laughs> she's got her makeup done to the nines and no glasses, so she's blind as a bat right now. <laughs> Why is she drinking so heavily then? 
Well, you may have heard her ranting, but it's her birthday today. The thing is, my work keeps calling, so I've been on the phone this whole time. She's kind of pissed about it. Within reason, I guess. What do you do, anyway? Do you not see the uniform? <laughs> I'm an aircraft pilot. My wife and I work for the same airline. Please don't tell me she's a pilot. Well, I guess it's her off hours. Who cares, right? Nah. Oh, I thought you might have been cosplaying. So what does your airline want with you on your day off? It's not actually my day off. I'm on standby, which means I'm supposed to be waiting at home. But now another pilot has caught out sick and I have to go in. Oh my God, we have to play her husband. This is happening. <laughs> There's a plane full of people who need me. <laughs> right, and I take it you're not supposed to go out to dinner while you're on standby? Nope, not ever. Figures. But my wife's birthday slipped my mind. What else was I supposed to do? Nah. They let an irresponsible guy like this fly planes? Scary. Well, it sounds like you're going to have to bite the bullet and tell your wife you're going into work. Yeah, she's getting pretty belligerent, huh? My travel schedule is bad enough, but if I break it to her that I forgot her birthday too, my marriage is over. I was trying to find a way out of this mess when you showed up. Not sure why you sat with her, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> Nanny. <laughs> your voice is the same register as mine, and if you were to wear the uniform... Oh my god. Hmm. I don't like where this is going. Well, I'm gonna ask anyway. <laughs> Will you please take my place and have dinner with my wife? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up, bro. Any way you slice it, switching places with you is crazy. Would you prefer to fly, to fly a plane for me instead? Huh? <laughs> okay, that's next level stupid. <laughs> Honey, did you fall in? See, she's calling you. I'm sure you can handle a drunk woman until she passes out. Come on. Yeah, come on. Let's just hurry up and exchange our contact info. Sigh. Oh my god. Here, it's a cheat sheet. It's my profile and a few important details about me. Oh my god. And here, my license and a few other important knickknacks. Is this really necessary? <laughs> the devil's in the details in these situations, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna stop by my house to get the spare uniform so you can have this one. <laughs> and this, my friends, is judgment. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I would trust you to fly a plane just by looking at you. That's a bad call. All right, I've got to get to work. Good luck. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna need another beer for this. Honey, I can see you. Come have a seat. Ugh. Shit, this is really happening, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Here it goes, but I better study this cheat sheet real quick. Okay, wait, what? Case file. Side case. Uh... What, did anyone catch the name of this case? Ah! Tatsuro Tanaka. 34 years old. Naoko Tanaka, 33 years old. Met in Yakaniku store right here. My mom is a nurse, sister in England. Dad's in heaven. Naoko's a bad drunk. No sake for her. Has a smelly fart. <laughs> okay. Um, let's read that one more time. Met in Yakaniku store. Mom's a nurse. Sisters in England, 
Dad is passed. Naoko's a bad drunk. No sake. And she has a smelly fart. Okay. Why would I... Why would I need that note? Why would I need that last part? Ah, uh, hey, sweetie. Sorry I took so long. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Now that I look closer. Uh-oh, is this over before it began? Have you gotten more handsome lately? Huh? Oh, you really think so? <laughs> so, who's our phone, honey? Oh, yeah, that. That was my younger brother, because my father has passed. It was my little brother. Since when did you have a little brother? Uh-oh. Oh! Do I not? <laughs> no. You don't. Not that I've ever met. Are you feeling okay, honey? Uh, sorry. I guess the uh, <clears throat> alcohol is getting to me. Well, pull, pull yourself... Pull, pull yourself together. <clears throat> Who's gonna take care of me? If you're pickled too! I better get that cheat sheet and have a look before I really screw something up. I thought we couldn't say the dad because he was passed, and we couldn't say the captain because that would have said that we were supposed to be at work. Damn. I guess the captain. The father's dead, so. It was the captain. The captain? He would call. Oh, no, no. It was fine. He he just, uh, butt-dialed me. Is that so? Or oh, it could have been. That woman. Uh, um, uh, woman? What? What woman? Don't you play dumb with me! Whoa. Um. I saw you! We were having a fun little shopping spree with a flight attendant yesterday! A real young piece of ass! Huh? I... I was? Um... Oh, you're a terrible husband! A terrible man! <laughs> Why'd I marry you? What a deplorable man. Scum, I'd say. Ugh. I'm at dinner with a drunk woman who's not my wife and I'm apparently cheating on her? Cool. Now, now, sweetie, let's let's not make a scene. Oh, I made terrible life choices. <laughs> oh, all men should be blasted to the moon. <laughs> At least she's calming down. They're having technical difficulties with the plane, so I'm off the hook. Heading back what? now. Oh, thank God. Hmm? Oh my God, it's Fumi. <laughs> oh, the timing! Huh? Mafuyu. Yagami Kun, who is this? And what's with the outfit? Are you cosplaying as a pilot? Yagami Kun? Oh, is this woman a friend of yours, honey? Huh? Nani? Honey? Yeah, about this. What business do you have with my husband? You know one of his husbands? Uh, Husband? Yagami-kun? Is there something you want to tell me? Uh... Honey! Let's hear it! Explain this to me right now, you jerk! Uh. 
Should I signal to Mafia that I'm undercover? Or would Naoko catch on? She probably would. What should I say Mafuyu is to me? I'm sorry, Mafuyu. I very much hope to have a relationship with you later. But in this particular instance, it's not the time. She's my stalker. Huh? Nani? Yagami kun, are you. No, no, no. I'm just messing around. Whatever you're doing right now, Yagami-kun, I'm lost. So, who is she then? Oh, that didn't work! Uh... This one? She made a mistake. I'm not Yagami. Yeah, but... Man, can't you see we're in the middle of a meal here? Now, would you please leave us be until later? Will you tell me you got that? <laughs> I see. If that's how you're gonna act, so be it. She didn't get it. <laughs> ha ha ha, she's drunker than you! Okay, this just went from funny to way too real. I want a divorce. Nani. That woman from earlier. She's your side piece, isn't she? That's who you were seeing, right? I bet she's a new flight attendant. No, she's not. I'm going home. Wait a minute. I I'll explain everything. Explain what? Um. I need something to fix this. Anything. Mm -hmm. This logo looks familiar. It's... It's a recent date and time. She mentioned seeing him shopping with a flight attendant, so it's possible that... Oh! I can prove I'm not having a, an affair, Naoko. Wait, oh, 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 wait, what? An alibi? Uh... The cheat sheet? It's like scratch paper, but it's actually a receipt. See the date? That's the day you saw me shopping with that girl. True? But what did that prove? Don't you see? Here's the store we shopped at. Yeah, it's a luxury store. You're spending our hard-earned money to get in her pants, aren't you? Here. Happy birthday. Huh? Huh? The truth is, I needed a lady's opinion on what kind of present to get you. I don't really know what the ladies are into these days, so... Really? I'm sorry. I wanted it to be a surprise. You got me a birthday present? Oh, honey, how many years has it been since you've done that? I don't know, actually. <laughs> but I think it means our love is real. <laughs> I, I literally have no idea. <laughs> it's true, my love. You're the only one I've ever loved. And the only one I'll love until I die. Okay. It's great that you're feeling confident enough to do what you're doing, 
but I fear you're stepping in the poop right now by doing this. <laughs> Hey. Hmm? Why do I suddenly have two husbands? Oh. Crap. I think I'm... Oh. No. <laughs> Naoko? Is that snoring? Oh my god, she passed out. I think that might have been a bit too much to handle. Tetsuro-san... Thank you. <sighs> wow, she is fast asleep. Yanami-san! Thank you so much. You really went the extra mile for a complete stranger. It was... interesting. But I hope you'll talk it out more when she wakes up. Yeah, I plan on it. I've been putting my work above my marriage, and I see that now. But thanks to you, I think my wife's birthday turned into a great anniversary for us. Also, guy in the background, please pay attention to your own conversations. This has nothing to do with you. Thank you. Glad to hear it. I wish you and Naoko long happiness, Tetsuro-san. If you could at least look at your phone when you're playing with it, you'd be a lot more convincing person who's eavesdropping. Thank you. Hi. Yes, tonight I will make it up to her. You know, thanks again. Oh, crap. I forgot about Mafuyu. Now I'm the one in hot water. I better messenger. Sorry about earlier, Mafuyu. I was undercover, and I said some things I shouldn't have. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have known better. I hope I didn't mess anything up for you. Good. 80,000 yen for that? Yo. Thank you for not showing cleavage, having original hair color, not bending over provocatively, not caressing a balloon, and not being whiny, no crying, reframe, reframing from cursing much, and being addictive from our buddy Holds that earlier did the... $50 tip. Dude, thank you, my man. That is a huge amount of support, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also, Flash Out with 100 cheer, X Squad with 100 cheer, The Rickson with the five gift bomb, and Anna Clara gifting subs. Thank you, Anna Clara. Really do appreciate that. Guys, this has been amazing, but I gotta get out of here. Man, this game, though. My god, dude. This this I think we're going to have to do a lot more side quests in this game. They are so, I'm I'm going to use this word carefully. They are severely entertaining. Like these side quests are just ridiculous. They're absolutely ridiculous. Um I am sorry. I do need to get out of here now. In fact, my I think I think I got some guests downstairs. I should probably go and, you know, entertain them and such. Um but yeah, bend over provocatively. Oh, do I do? I, that's how I start my stream every day. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Also, thank you for that crazy amount of gift bombing earlier. That was incredibly appreciated. And again, thank you. Thank you, guys. I am out of here for now. I hope you guys have a great July 4th, my American friends. If not, I just hope you have a happy new day. Uh, regardless, wherever you are. And, uh, and thank you guys for it. Tomorrow morning is going to be more... Tales, uh, not Tales, just regular Borderlands 1. We're going to be finishing up Borderlands 1 tomorrow morning. Going to be doing the DLC we're working on now, then checking out the other DLC. Um, tomorrow afternoon is going to be more Judgment. So we will do very similar to today. We'll start tomorrow afternoon with main story Judgment, and then probably for the second half of the afternoon stream, we'll do more side questing, probably some more VR. Um, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. So we got, we got a lot of things to do. And then, uh, as I'm letting people know, Saturday morning... We are going to be doing Borderlands 2. Saturday afternoon, I'm going to be doing a late stream. So I'll probably fire up the stream around 4 or 5 on Saturday afternoon, play Warframe for a little bit, and then we're going to watch the TennoCon together. So if you're a Warframer, I hope to see you here on Saturday. We'll be starting 5 o'clock at the latest, but maybe a little bit earlier. And then TennoCon is at 6, and we'll be uh, co-casting that with them. So it should be a lot of fun. And uh, then on Monday afternoon... We start Danganronpa 2. For the very first time, I will ever be playing it. So we have a lot of fun stuff to do. Very much hope to see you here this weekend while we do it. So on that note, 
Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening. Again, thank you guys so much for the support today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. EDT for another full day of fun and games. See you guys then. Bye-bye.